When I first started to study retread tires, I, I was the, uh, the principal investigator, which means the, the person who leads the study. And I did this study for the federal government, Department of Transportation. They have a, a sub-department called NHTSA, which is the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And they affect all rules governing vehicles. But in order to create a rule, they have to study the uh, particular rule, estimate what the benefits and outcome would be because there has to be some benefit to society to establish a rule. Now, with retreads, it was a little bit the opposite because there was a bad reputation surrounding retreads that has been present for a very long time. And Nitsa wanted to understand, is this real? So they came to a university, we did the study, and used the academic principles to try and sort out whether or not the a retread was in, in any way inferior to a new tire. And when we studied the casings, we could not see any difference in the failure patterns between new tires and retread tires. There was essentially no difference. And, and the thing about that is that um, where we found failure, it was through poor maintenance, it was through road hazard, uh, it was through improper pressure. When you combine the uh, development of uh, procedures and processes, to produce retreads over time, you know, the um, quality of the, these retreads has really risen to be equivalent to normal tire.